Anybody who thinks that the world is less than 10,000 years old is an enormous number of creationists, especially in America, but not only in America, do think. Uh, the best excuse for them is lamentable ignorance. Ignorance is no crime, uh, but it, it's something to be remedied by education. Anybody who is not ignorant, anybody who's been shown the facts and still believes the world is less than 10,000 years old, there's got to be something wrong with them. The, to give an idea of the magnitude of the error, to believe that the world is less than 10,000 years old, given that we know the world is actually 4.6 billion years old, it's equivalent to believing that the width of North America, right across from New York to San Francisco, is less than 10 yards. I mean, that's the scale of the error we're talking about. So you've either got to be staggeringly ignorant, which most of them are, or if you're not ignorant, you've got to be... You know, my number one pet peeve when it comes to the culture war and origins is that people will allow evolutionists to talk about evolution like it's fact, like it's absolutely proven, and, and be intimidated when it comes to talking about creationism as though there's absolutely no fact or no science on our side. And nothing could be further from the truth. The fact of the matter is there's actually more scientific, ev scientific evidence on our side than there is on theirs. And there's more presupposition on their, size, on their side than there is on ours. And so we'll take, for example, two guys who disagree with one another over the age of the Earth. One says 3 billion, another says 10 billion. And we'll say they're both intelligent. There's 7 billion years between them. I say 6,000. There's less than 3 billion between me and the guy who says 3, bi 3 billion. So how come 7 billion between them is allowed, but 3 billion on my part is not allowed? Because after all, you're just talking about big, giant numbers. And it's all in order to intimidate people and to cover your tracks when you don't have scientific evidence. So we need to take courage, speak the truth.